everyone welcome back it's been a while i've been busy last week uh, and i'm glad to be back in action again uh, today we are going to look at the dosing cup for breville barrister express now this is 54 mm dosing cups i was confused whether to buy a dosing cup or a dosing funnel i find dosing cup is more useful and in this case we have the notch exactly like our Breville Potter filter where you can plug it into the dosing area and this notch will push the button uh, to start the grinder off and on so this is much convenient it's a nice design this is a 3d printed uh, which is plastic I like the steel, uh, but this one I find it more useful. The other brand which has this notch is uh, Crema brand, uh, which is a stainless steel uh, with notch on one side and ring on the other side. Uh, there are slight disadvantages on both Crema and this one, but this is something that we can live with. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use this. Uh, the good thing is you can use this cup to weigh the bean first and then use the same cup to dispense the grinds into it. Some people like to weigh the, the grinds, especially because the Breville Barrister Express grinder, it's not accurate compared to the expensive grinders. You may put 18 grams in and you may get 18.5 or you may get 17.5. It varies. Now, this dosing cup, it's available in Etsy, etsy.com. You could buy this if you, if you don't want to invest much on the dosing cup. This is cheap, around 19 Canadian dollar. Uh, it may be 15 US dollar. So this is much cheaper solution and it works well. Now here is the closer look of this cup. Now this can hold 18 grams easy. Uh, I think it can hold up to 22 or 23 grams of beans in it uh, easy. So this is a right uh, fit for Breville Barista Express. Uh, so the good thing about this is you could put 18 grams in together and uh, usually I adjust the dose size to the maximum so that I get all the 18 grams right into the cup. So you could do it in one go, which is much convenient. And all you do is take the Potter filter and then make it upside down, shake it well so that it levels the grinds nicely into the Potter filter. Uh, you could shake it so that it fluff it up and then slowly remove it. Now uh, this has that little edge here. Uh, which locks into the Potter filter so that it doesn't move much. There's a slight movement, that's fine, it's not bad. So you could shake it up and then remove the cup. So the full 18 grams can be into the Potter filter in one go. These two cups are almost identical. Now this is much lighter than this one. This one is a bit heavier, um, but both works fine. So let's go to the machine and see this dosing cup in action. Let's have a closer look at this. Now, uh, like I mentioned, it's exactly the shape of the Potter filter and this notch will engage the grinder switch on and off. So let's do this. So you, you put this exactly like you put the Potter filter in and this is the only slight disadvantage that I mentioned earlier, uh, just that the basket will be hanging like this. 
but it's it's stable it's not going anywhere it, it will dispense everything in i tested it a few times yesterday it works well that's your least slight disadvantage i would say and like i mentioned even the crema brand the stainless steel cup it also hangs in like this now to switch on the grinder all you do is press it and press it again to switch off that's how you engage it now the other advantage i mentioned earlier is you could use the same cup to weigh your beans and even after dispensing the beans you could weigh just to compare so here i'm going to take 17 grams that's exactly 17 grams um, so let's use this beans and then let's dispense and see how much i'll get okay let's get a closer shot so all i do is just press the button I can leave my hand, it, it's stable. Okay, now I should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, these are the two settings that I changed. Uh, initially it was in single, you might, have, you might have seen in my other videos, I always use single. Uh, size then I dispense into the potter filter and then halfway through I just tap it level the grinds again and then press it again to get the remaining half so that's how I, I've been doing uh, the the grinds so now the advantage is I can uh, do 17-18 grams in one go that's a good thing about it so all I did is just change the size to double and I increase it all the way to maximum. So here I have 17 grams exactly. So that's how it looks. Now I'm going to weigh the beans uh, to be sure because we took 17.01 exactly. So let's see how much is this. Okay, don't be surprised we got 17.05 it's not bad I got 0 0.04 grams more than what I put uh, this is very common error in Breville grinder uh, nothing to worry but it wasn't bad now all I do is I take the potter filter and close it upside down like this and then turn it upside down and I could shake it and I can even tap it and then I can uh, gently remove this so this is how it looks uh, the good thing is it is almost leveled and you also see the if you look around the edge like a ring shape uh, it has uh, almost left a bit of gap there uh, which is good because when you level it it's going to distribute it around uh, so let me use the leveler now and I'm going to level it and then tamp it using the other side so okay so I leveled it well looks good and I'm going to tamp it using the other side and make sure it hit the ridge okay looks good now we are ready to make some coffee I made a little bit of mess here and there but it wasn't bad now like I said I'm new to this cup uh, and I'm, I can make sure that I don't make a mess next time 
um, but it, it's really a convenient tool. Uh, it dosed everything into the cup, 18 grams in one go. Now let's make some coffee. I got my shot glass ready here. And let's begin. So I press the double. Okay, nice thick crema, a lot of crema generated. Um, did I use a pressurized basket? Just hold on. I think I used a pressurized basket. Anyway, that's a mistake from my side. Usually I use the single wall non-pressurized basket. Uh, let's keep the shot here and let's, let's see what I used. Oh yes, that's a dual wall pressurized basket. Anyway, the, the shot looks good, it generated its own crema. Um, so let's taste and see. Wow, it tastes really good. We got the nice pressure anyway and the espresso tastes really good maybe i'm thinking to make a latte out of it so let's see so i got some milk here and i'm going to make some latte You could watch how I froth the milk. I'll introduce some bubbles now. That should be fine, just a bit. And then I try to get that swirl motion so that it incorporates the, the bubbles well into it and makes it micro bubbles. Occasionally, I could introduce that tear noise I'll check the temperature using the other hand. So I'm going to lift the pitcher now. So we'll have the final rounds here. And the temperature looks good. Perfect. Always purge and wipe the steam wand immediately after use. Now, this. It looks like a wet paint. So I'm going to use a cup. I'll transfer the, the espresso that I just made. And then I'll make some lighter here. Okay, that's a simple tulip part. Okay, my camera angle is not that great, but I I put it on top of my brawl machine. So let me remove it before it heats up. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy this latte. So I hope you enjoy this video and this is useful. This tool is very useful. I would highly recommend this. 
uh, the dosing cup better than the do dosing funnel which I don't think it's that useful but some people prefer that it's up to you uh, I wouldn't say negative about that uh, this is equally good and it will help to dispense uh, the whole 18 grams in one go you could weigh the beans before you grind and then also dispense the grind into this and measure the grinds after uh, grinding the beans uh, you could always compare and be accurate and it's easy to dispense this straight into the potter filter and that will reduce channeling and other things so i hope uh, this video helped you and Now I'm going to enjoy this latte that I just made. So if you are new to, to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel because I'll be posting more videos on Gravel Barista Express, how to make uh, different types of coffee and various other things. So stay tuned guys. See you on the next video. Bye for now.